Oh, well, hello everybody and welcome to a live organ recital here on BIS, sometimes known as Beauty in Sound. I do hope that you're all sitting very comfortably. I do hope that you've all got a very refreshing drink in this fantastic weather. It's rather hot in here and I wish there was something other than just water in here maybe later on. So today we're going back to the good old days of having um, an, a recital entirely made up of your requests. Everything I play tonight has been requested by one of you. The first piece that we had was by David German, a festive trumpet tune, which was requested by Richard Fitzgerald. And the wonderful thing about these recitals by request is that most, well, some of the pieces that I play are brand new to me. Um, so there's a few pieces tonight that are new to me that I'm playing for the very first time. And I hope that you won't be able to tell which is which. <laughs> Apart from, of course, the ones that you've heard me play before. So we're going to now go from America, because David was an American composer, uh, all the way over to Germany, back in time, many, many years, back before Bach. Um, was sort of a, a major hit that he is today to listen to some Dietrich Buxtehude. Maurice has requested uh, the Chacon in E minor, Bux WV 160. And what a delightful piece this is. I really hope you enjoy this.
So the chicane in E minor there with a little bit of um, Henry Willis thrown in for good measure using the, um, at one point using the, the solo oboe, oboe on the tremulant. And the four foot flute. And then moving on to this, so, um, the solo strings and tremulant. Completely authentic registration for Buxtehude, right? But anyway, this is this Buxtehude wouldn't have known this organ. This is, this organ is very modern compared to what he was used to. So we can um, um, embellish a little bit, I think. So Maurice, thank you very much for requesting that. I hope that was all right for you. Okay, so now moving into our third request, which comes in from Ryan Frederick, staying in the Baroque era for a moment. Um, uh, Ryan has requested that I play um, a line got in der Herzei Air, uh, BWV 633, by the great man J.S. Bach. So obviously J.S. Bach was greatly um, inspired by Buxtehude. We all know the story where Bach um, made a voyage um, to see Buxtehude play and meet him. Um, and it just makes you wonder, you know, what did Buxtehude play at that concert? What, what did Bach hear? Okay, Bobby, you're here. Please don't work on the keyboard because tonight is a recital and tonight is meant to be a formal event and I've already got cat hairs all over my hands now. Thank you for that. Bobby, can I just crack on for a bit, please? If you sit there, you're absolutely fine. Okay, don't. I think the best thing to do is ignore them, isn't it? <laughs> right, here we go.
Uh, well, a, a team effort really between um, Bobby and me, certainly at the beginning there. How many other organ recitalists in the world have to put up with a cat jumping on the organ bench mid-performance? I know there are various church cats and cathedral cats. Magnificat um, are around, I think Southwark has a, uh, a cat. Uh, Wells has a cat, but I wonder whether they ever jump on the organ bench and then subsequently jump on the organ keys during a recital. Has anyone experienced that before? So beautiful piece there, um, Aline got into her as I air, J.S. Bach, All Glory Be to God on High, requested by Ryan Frederick. I've seen a few people asking how to, how to make requests. Well, all of the requests this evening are pre-requests. They have been requested by my Patreons and channel members. It's a, it's a perk of being um, a, a financial supporter of Beauty and Sound. So they have requested all of these. And actually I should say that we had more requests um, than possibly I could fit into one concert. It would almost be a marathon. So we've got enough requests for probably another, at least one more concert. So stay tuned. Next piece is a request from Will Scarborough. There's a great place in the north of this country called Scarborough. I don't know whether there's any relation there, Will. Um, but Will has requested a piece by Alexandre Guillemot uh, called Grand... Uh, well, it's, this is an American edition, so it's Grand Chorus in March form. So I guess it's Grand Chœur dans mar marche form. <laughs> I don't know what that French bit at the end would be there. Um, but yeah, this, this is pretty cool. This is a sort of a pastiche type piece uh, by Gilmore. Gilmore was very good at writing um, pastiche, pastiche, pastiche type stuff. Um, so this is one of them. So here we go, we're on number 11 and it sounds, actually, which piece, Caroline said, uh, as I was practicing this earlier on, Caroline says, oh, that sounds like what piece do you think this sounds like? Certainly in the first few bars. After that, it doesn't. Here we go.
pretty cool piece that actually, isn't it? Um, and of course, Maurice and others, uh, I think, said it at the very beginning, it sounds very much like Vidor. Here. That's a Vidor sequence, isn't it? Um, I don't know when, which one came first. Actually, I think Vidor came first because this was, this was copyrighted in 1898. Vidor 5, so, sorry, Vidor 6 was written, I think, a bit before that. Somebody in the chat far more knowledgeable than I am will be able to confirm which one came first. Now, I'm going to just um, have a, a piece which I've arranged now, uh, which has been requested by Case from NL. Um, he's requested one of the movements from my interstellar suite, which I arranged and played on the real version of this Hauptwerk sample set, Salisbury Cathedral. I recorded that last year and it's had nearly a million views in about half a year. And if you're one of the very few who hasn't checked it out yet, I think you probably should, it's rather good. And the organ sounds amazing and it's a quite a good piece actually. It's only about 14 minutes long. This, Cornfield Chase, is, is the second movement and lasts about three minutes. It's essentially a very quiet opening with um, a, quite a, an exciting crescendo. So, Case from NL, this one is especially for you. Actually, let me just um, think about this. Which angle should we go for? Hmm. Ooh, uh, let's go for the, this one for now. That is uh, simply Cornfield uh, Chase. Uh, the edition that I use, by the way, is available to buy um, on the BIS shop. If you want to head on to beautyandsound.co.uk, it's on there to buy. Um, as a few people have already. One of the, um, I think one of the most fantastic, um, fantastically exciting and well-written um, film scores. I think Hans Zimmer is really up there with film score composers 
such as uh, John Williams. And the reason that Interstellar is so special is because uh, Hans Zimmer actually uses uh, a, the pipe organ. He uses a real pipe organ um, in uh, Temple Church. The, but he actually uses, and I want to tell you this, I want to sort of big this up and tell you, he actually uses another organ more than the temple organ. But, and I know that, um, but I don't know whether you know that. So I'll, I, I, I'm, I, I will probably tell you at some point. Right, anyway, let's get one from um, film music back into an organ improvisation, which was improvised um, originally um, and then written down uh, by George Thalbin Ball. This is his elegy and it's a request from Dan Marshall. And uh, this piece works, will work extremely well on the uh, sample set of Salisbury Cathedral, because obviously Thalbin Moore was a very English organist. He liked his English organs. Obviously he, he was world famous. He toured around the world. Um, but this piece works ex especially well, I think, on an English organ. It does work, as I've, I think I've demonstrated, on a, a French cafe col as well in Say Cathedral, which if you want to go and check that out, I have played this piece on the Kavaikal organ in Se, which it does work extremely well. So what am I going to use? I'm not sure yet. Um, I don't know. I'm going to use a bit of grates, I think, for the, um, the sort of the cello tune. Let's have the solo to grate on, choir to grate. Let's have all the couplers. Let's be brave. Tuba's pushed in for now. And then uh, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see where the, let's see where the spirit takes us.
the second time that's happened to me in two in two live broadcasts. Let's contra one bars falling out. Actually, it is loose. It's very loose, actually. Um, it, is, it is one of the stops that uh, little Hugo goes for. Hugo stands on the bench and pulls out the stops when he's unsupervised. So what I can do is I have one of these gadgets and I can put the end of this into the end of the stop head, push it down just gently like that and then just gently rotate it just to push out the tongs a little bit and then that because the tongs are now um, further apart it'll be more yeah much more of a friction stop won't come out as easily okay so wonderful piece I'm glad you enjoyed that thank you um, for all of your donations so far it's good to have a bit of a uh, an, an organist's fee for a recital. Um, I need to celebrate, um, we all need to celebrate uh, Jonathan, who's donated for the first time. So thank you very much, Jonathan. Your avatar either looks like a, a lampshade or a, 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 um, a, a, a sort of a flamingo type creature. What are those creatures called with long legs? <laughs> Um, anyway, so let's go on now to, to um, thank you, uh, thank you everyone who's donated tonight, by the way. I'll, I'll um, have a look at the end. I, I haven't got a list of them, unfortunately. But I'll, um, yeah, that's a pain. Anyway, so the next piece that we have is a, a request from Marty M, who's requested um, a piece by Gordon Young called Prelude in, uh, hang on. Yes, Prelude, no, I know what it's called. I was just thinking, oh, crumbs. I don't know what button I'm on, but it's general too. Prelude in Classic Style by Gordon Young. Glad to see at least one of you is dancing, Gerda. <laughs> dancing in 3-4, so you must be dancing a waltz. 
<laughs> uh, Sean just says, it's one of my first organ pieces, brings back memories, I would have to relearn it. Doesn't, it's not, it isn't that tricky, Sean, don't worry. Um, and Dantino, this one is fun to play. <laughs> So glad, glad you enjoyed that, and thank you very much to the requester of that, Marty M. And of course, thank you. Uh, oh yes, yeah, so all, all of the chats, uh, the super chats are now just popped up on the screen, so I can see who's been chatting, uh, donating away. But Marty M, thank you for your ten dollars just now, and thank you for sending it through. So Barbara Ives is up next, and Barbara um, simply says, "Which lock? Anything." <laughs> So one of my favourite pieces by the great, wonderful composer, um, one of the my favourite miniatures, should I say, by um, Whitlock, is the, the folk tune. Whitlock, and it was Tim Rivald who said this to me when I was recording Tim down at Chichester um, last year. He said that he thinks, and he couldn't, we, couldn't, we couldn't between us think of anyone else, really, uh, he thinks that Percy Whitlock was the greatest composer of organ ditties. Um, there's so many beautiful, you know, the five short pieces are all fantastic. They're all only three or four pages long, um, but they're all wonderful. Can you think, chat, of anyone else, an organ composer who was really good um, at writing short, effective music? And along the lines of Whitlock. So Barbara Ives, I hope this uh, choice is uh, uh, is okay for you. I'm just thinking, um, what, trying to make this as sort of as soupy as possible. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, here goes. <laughs>
beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful? I think that would work on any, the more sort of romantic-y uh, organ. You know, a, a wonderful Skinner would work uh, extremely well. You need to have, you need to have really sort of stringy diapasons. And then in the middle, a beautiful rhythm as well. Fantastic piece that, isn't it? Okay, so thank you very much, Barbara, for allowing me uh, to play it. Right, so the next uh, piece we're going to have, now we're just going to sort of um, heat, put some more coal on the fire, as it were, and get the heat really turned up. Not that it needs to be any hotter in here. And as you can see on my forehead, it is actually getting rather hot. It's been high 20s here. Uh, today at least 27 which is hot when you're not used to those temperatures that's hot particularly i think for this time of year so lucy cook uh, sent in a uh, rather fabulous request um, for a very well-known piece by louis vienne and it's carrion de westminster and I'm going to play it in the McVeigh way today. And you, please do tell me what it is that I'm doing differently. I hope you've all um, watched the, um, the video that, that I put online yesterday announcing that I'm going to be sampling organs. I'm um, going to be giving you a bit, lots more information about that, uh, including uh, the team who make up the sampling division. So there are the three of us doing it, and I'm very very fortunate to have a very talented group of people around me. Um, some of the best, I think, actually. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, really, really fortunate. So if you haven't seen that already, go and check it out. What's uh, Andre said? Oh, well, you'll have to just wait and see, my friend. Wait, wait and see. Let's, let's see what McVeigh does to it.
Oh, that was close. I hadn't set anything on the final piston and I pressed it and it went in. Everything went in. <laughs> oh, it didn't quite. We, we would have had this. Oh yeah, for the final chord. <laughs> yeah, so um, actually there's a, a few little slips in that. So I apologize about the slips. Um, there's a, yeah, it's one of those pieces that I tend to know pretty well and I had assumed that I could just play that without looking at it, apart from setting it up. So that was actually, uh, I, I guess, formally the final piece. So if that was, if that was a program, that would be the final piece. So that was requested by Lisa Cook. So we've had so far Festive Trumpets Tune by David German, requested by Richard Fitzgerald. Uh, Books to Hooters Chicon in E minor, requested by Maurice Coates. Uh, J.S. Bach's Alain Gott in der Herzei Air, requested by Ryan Frederick. Alexandre Guillemot's Grand Chorus in March form, requested by Will Scarborough. Hans, uh, Cornfield Chase uh, from Interstellar by Hans Zimmer, requested by Case from NL. Uh, Elegy by Thalben Ball, requested, requested by Dan Marshall. Gordon Young's Prelude in Classic Style, requested by Marty M. Whitlock's uh, folk tune, um, Barbara Ives has requested that one. And then Lucy Cook requested Louis Vienne's uh, Carry On de Westminster. Now, final piece, final encore, if you like, is going to be another, well, a Takata. Um, uh, a Takata, a bit of a crashy Takata. This, this, was, a, this was requested by our, a good friend of mine, uh, John Hosking. Uh, by uh, Pierre Cocherel, it's the Boston Toccata. So improvised when uh, Pierre Cocherel gave a concert in Boston. It comes from a, a four, he improvised a four movement symphony actually. But this is by far, I think, the, um, the best sort of transcribed movement from the um, symphony. So, it's going to sound a bit like an improvisation, if I'm honest, because, um, John, I've not really had a chance to look at it. The last time I played this was, I think, in Gloucester, <laughs> and I haven't really played it since. So it's going to sound, it's going to sound just a bit like Pierre Gosherot's interpretation. Because interestingly, this um, version here by um, um, uh, the chap at St. Thomas Fifth Avenue, uh, oh, fantastic organist forgot his name. Uh, he arranged this um, and actually tidied it up a lot. A bit like uh, Tournamy I did when he arranged those, um, sorry, Drouflet did when he arranged Tournamy's improvisations. He, there was a lot of tidying up going on. Um, you listen to the original recording of this, there's a, there's a lot more notes <laughs> um, and it's very exciting. So I might add some, <laughs> I might add some extra notes, some of which may not be intentional, <laughs> but let's make it a bit spon spontaneous, shall we? So nothing set up, it's just loud. It's just sort of reads on, reads off, reads on, reads off all the way through, isn't it? All right, John, here goes nothing, just for you, my friend. <laughs> this is just for you. Jeremy Philzell, thank you very much, Andre. That's exactly who I was trying to think of. Wonderful organist.
hot in here. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great um, Takata that. It just is. It's a, it's a good, just, um, it's really sort of a, a joie de vivre, you know, um, a, a really uplifting piece, isn't it? It was improvised by the composer, uh, Pierre Cacharot, uh, in Boston, as I say, and it's been transcribed, uh, written down, and somewhat tied it up a little bit. Um, so I think there is definitely an element of being able to take liberties uh, in it. Um, and it's fab, it, I think it, it works really well as a sort of an encore, doesn't it? Um, and it, if, if you play it note for note, if you don't per, play it perfectly, actually there's, there's some bits which are really quite fiddly. And you think, hmm, I, I don't think this, I don't think Pierre Cochereau played that. <laughs> Because there's lots of sort of, if you watch him play, there's lots of tremolos and all sorts of sort of things going on with his feet, and lots of tremolos with his feet. Um, and there's a bit of that in here, but I think a lot of it's been taken out. So I think if you play this, you can really um, just do whatever you want to do. But yeah, that's a great piece. So John, thanks for that. It's, um, um, it's a bit of a workout playing that piece. Um, John, could you improvise something like that? Could you improvise a Takata in that sort of style? That would be amazing if you could. I'm sure you absolutely could, um, but I would love to have you here doing it, or have you, see you do it in Blackburn. That'd be very exciting. Fab, well that brings, that brings to a close to tonight's um, All Requests Friday. <laughs> no, it's not Friday, it's Saturday, isn't it? <laughs> um, All Requests Saturday, um, recital by request. So, I, as I said earlier, I actually have enough requests to do another one. Um, if you want to make a request uh, for a future recital, so all the all these requests uh, were made from uh, channel members and patrons. Um, it's just a bit of a uh, something to give back to them. It's a perk of being a channel member, a patron, a supporter. You can support. So if you want to be able to request repertoire for concerts and recitals, just sign up. Be a, a channel member. You can be a channel member. Of, Remember, for one pound a month, literally one dollar a month. You know, it's it might not be much to you, but if ten of you join us one dollar a month, that's that's ten pound um, towards BIS future initiatives. By the way, future future initiatives, organ festival coming up. If you know of anyone who wants to enter um, a, very, a, a prestigious uh, composition competition, where there is a, a two and a half thousand pound prize up for grabs um, um, details are on my social media um, is send me an email hello I've still got a new, a new email address hello at beautyandsound.co.uk how easy is that hello at beautyandsound.co.uk and also if you're interested in if you're under 30 and if you are interested in participating in an organ masterclass given live on this organ so if you want to play live on YouTube um, and you're under 30 and you want to partake in a masterclass given by Francesca Massey, a very, very knowledgeable and talented, a technically brilliant organist. Um, again, get in touch. Hello at beautyandsound.co.uk. So those people who are like supporting me, um, your money is going towards um, those workshops and those composition competitions. So thank you. Cool, I'll, I'll, I'll draw to a close there tonight. I need to go and cool down and have a refreshing drink. Something a bit more substantial than water. I can't possibly think what that could be. I'll leave you guessing. Tomorrow night, virtual church, usual time, um, hymns, organ music, and waffle. I'll see you then. Cheerio. Goodbye.